a popular spot I'm back <laughs> this is a the pond and they haven't torn up Barnum Hill I talked about that last year if you were if you've been following me for a while they were gonna tear up Barnum Hill with all the old trees for to make room for tigers for the zoo and so they were gonna start taking over the park you know it's a slippery slope like where does it end so but there's no tigers. <laughs> they haven't torn it apart, but this is one of my favorite spots. It's a, it's like there's a seat coming from the tree. <laughs> the tree has engulfed a, a stone here. So back in Tucson, getting exercise. Today is all about exercise. I have gone two weeks previously without proper exercise, stretching, walking, and just doing some, well, doing just some general weight lifting and things like that, aerobics. And I started feeling bad in quartzite. I attribute it to maybe not getting enough water while I was there out in the desert, but yeah, um, I'm glad to be back here, yeah. So today is all about exercise. Let's talk exercise. And I'm gonna get my slack line out too, yeah. And my um, hammock. Abby's getting exercise. You'll see her going to the dog park. They have a huge dog park here. And so she's gonna get socialized with other dogs, yeah. It's very important to keep your body in tone shape. Because I mentioned in February, we're gonna have that meetup. And if you're thinking about, we'll do this side. If you're thinking about becoming a nomad, it's imperative that you keep your health tip top, a tip top traveler, because it can go down fast and then you're out of the game and that's no fun. And you don't feel good if you're not in shape or you're not taking care of yourself, that means cleaning and exercise and eating right and everything taking care of your skin and it's just everything so let's get going with all of this exercise business
This is the first time. But she's not, my ours isn't too uh, experienced in a dog park either. That's right. This is a nice dog park, isn't it? Abby, good girl, good girl, good girl. Gotta keep those treats going, huh? Cindy, shout out to Cindy. She asked me about what type of blankets to bring to Quartzsite. Uh, Cindy is in uh, Monterey, California area, and she is going to come out. She has a Ram Promaster. It's gorgeous. I believe it's a Ram Promaster, but it's, it's like that if it isn't that in um, exact. But she asked me about blankets. She said that it seemed like I had some wool blankets and what would be appropriate to bring. Well, I'll tell you what I have. I have a Sherpa blanket. It is like an ever, it's like pine green. I've had it for years. And then of course it's like that, that um, wool side. It's like fluffy, like a, like a sheep. And, but it's old. And I'm thinking about buying another one. And then what I have are two wool blankets. Yes, I do, they're full size. I think my Sherpa is almost a queen size, it's way too big. If I, but when I buy another one, I'm going to just get a twin. Because obviously, you know, my bedding, it isn't real wide. But I have two wool blankets. I would get wool, I really would. Go to a, a Miller Surplus store or, um, just go on Amazon. Maybe I'll look for I'll look for some wool blankets and I'll put the link in there. But I have two of them. I always say it's a one blanket and then I use always my green one. My green Sherpa is always on my skin. And what I do is I turn it upside down so that the green soft part is on my skin. And then uh, my, if it's a two blanket night, yeah, it might be get down to like maybe 45. That would be a two blanket night. If it gets down to 30, or maybe even 25 it's a three blanket night yes now I also have that sleeping bag it's a minus 25 sleeping bag if it was really cold like if it was like 17 degrees I was up north I would crawl inside my sleeping bag I wouldn't bring any blankets with me I would just crawl inside and zip it up and I would be cozy I don't like to sleep inside my sleeping bag it I feel confined in there but that's that's my um, my blanket situation yeah now I will tell you that as far as sleeping bags go it's a minus 25 sleeping bag. That means the ratings coincide with this fact. You won't die using that particular sleeping bag if it's that temperature. So if it's minus 25, you won't die using my particular sleeping bag. But will you be comfortable? Probably not. 
So if you really want, if you're going to be in cold weather, uh, get a minus 35 or minus 45 just in case. And uh, yeah, it's just if you don't, so you don't die. <laughs> yeah. So that's the skinny on ratings of a sleeping bags. But those are the blankets I use. Now, as far as my sheet, I carry a twin. I sleep on top of my sleeping bag. It gives a little extra padding and that's all I need. What I do is I have a microfiber that I bought at Walmart. They're pretty good price. It's a twin fitted sheet. And in, before I go to bed, I lay out my sleeping bag and I put that over my sleeping bag, the, the sheet, fitted sheet. And I also only use microfiber uh, pillowcases. That way, um, it doesn't hold, cotton holds a lot of moisture and I don't, I want to uh, keep that down to a minimum. And as far as like towels, like when I uh, go to Planet Fitness or I wash my hair in my van, I have microfiber towels too. So, uh, but I do use regular uh, washcloths, cotton washcloths. I like those better for my skin, it feels better. But I try to keep cotton to a minimum. I don't have it eliminated all the way, but I keep it to a minimum. That just keeps some of the moisture down in my van. So there you go, Cindy. I will see you again at the meetup in February. I'm at the Rose Garden. There's still some remnants of roses here. Oh, that's a nice one. There's still some buds coming up too. This is one of my favorite colors. Oh, look how beautiful that is. And let's get in the shade. Look at that. Wow. It smells really good too. Wow. Beautiful rose.
not to look. <laughs> I don't look, okay. They said pull it up and just, you have to meet it. Oh, see if I can. Okay, that's good for <laughs> entertainment. Well, they're all different colors depending on the, um, She's uh, supposed to be a golden doodle, but the dad was a black poodle, so. Not what they call this? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Well, you gotta be brushed a lot. You gotta curvy coat. Yes. Well, we're gonna take her to the, yeah, to the beauty parlor soon. Ah, yeah, she gets rasped, rusted tail, huh? Yep, she does. Well, we tra we travel, so oh, yeah. we're out on BLM land, and where we 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 camp yeah, out, and so she she's kind of dirty right now. We're in town, and we're gonna go take her to the beauty parlor pretty so soon. Where do you camp out around here? Uh, we were down by Quartzsite, up in Quartzsite, and we just came down from Flagstaff. Oh yeah, I was just yeah. up there last week. Oh yeah, isn't it beautiful? I love Flagstaff. Well, it's the the drive is like spectacular landscape. Wow. Depending on where Look at you. you. From, uh, both from the desert to the high mountain or back down, it's both gorgeous. I know, I know. Good girl. She dropped the ball. <laughs> Give me the ball. Drop it. Out. 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 Good girl. Okay. Yeah, she dropped the ball when you say out. Ready? Bring it here. Bring it here, Abby. There we go. Abby, out. Good girl. Good. Uh, this is gross. <laughs> Abby, go get it. Abby. <laughs> Good girl. Abby, out, out, good girl. This sure is gross. There's all kinds of balls just out here. So. Oh. She is learning. She's getting trained pretty darn good. Oops. <laughs> Abby, Abby, show everybody your beautiful face. Oh. We're at the dog park. Again, she's having so much fun here. Well, I think I got all my egg, most of my exercising in. Well, I didn't get my weights, but I the poi balls. I wanted to do the poi balls because they really, get, you know, it helps with that. Yeah, but it really gets the arms and it strengthens the shoulders and the arms. Well, I think I've got all of the exercising done for the day. Just a little bit of everything get myself back into it it's I feel better makes me feel better um, as you saw I did my stretching and plan of fitness got a shower early in the morning and then I moved on to the park it was a lot of fun Where's, oh Abby's laying down not too many dogs it's the heat of the day it's hot in Tucson it's very hot here I think today it's gonna get up to 91 that's okay. And then it goes back down to just 79 tomorrow. So it's okay. We can handle one more day of the heat. I'd rather be here where there's a lot more to do. There's a lot more for me to do here. I didn't really know Flagstaff very well. I wasn't impressed with their park system. I really wasn't. Here, there's so much going on. There was the percussionist were here with the, um, I don't know what they're called, the large, those large bongos, they're real tall. And just people, families having picnics, um, you know, mariachi music going on. And my daughter did come into the park and see me. She got a chance to meet Paul, yeah. And There's just a lot to do here in Tucson. There's a lot of places to go. Um, I want to introduce Paul to a lot of different things. And 
gonna be going to Tombstone, gonna be visiting Bisbee. I think Bisbee's about two hours away. Got my, still drinking my cranberry juice. I'm feeling much better. So thank you all for prayers and thoughts. Thank you. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. I really do. I'm very happy and very, um, very content here. Yeah. So please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. It really helps me. Thanks for watching it all the way through. If you need stickers or magnets, minivanlee.com or minivan-lee.com. They both work. Now I've got the book, How to Live in a Minivan, the Minivan Lee Way. A lot of you are getting ready to come to Quartzsite or you're getting ready to be a nomad. If you want those checklists of all the things that are essential and even some fun things that are not are non-essential, uh, go to Amazon. Uh, it's also here at my in my website. It'll lead you to Amazon. There's an ebook, and there's the paperback book. Order it. They're not expensive at all. So, Facebook group, Minivan Lee's This Nomad Life. We're almost approaching 2,000 members. I'm going to meet a whole bunch of you uh, in 2022 in Quartzsite. And what else? Oh, the podcast. We're doing an episode every single week, Paul and I. It's called This Nomad Life with Lee and Paul. And it is on all the major podcast applications. Yes. Uh, the I looked it up. The, the most popular podcast uh, format is Apple. And next is Spotify. And we're there. And then we're on Google Podcasts. We're on Downcast. We're on Pocket Cast. Yeah. We're on, on, we're on, not public radio, but Radio Public. We're there. And a few others. So... Get the Apple podcast that comes with your Apple phone or just get Spotify. It doesn't cost you anything. There you go. So new episode coming up Friday and it'll be about making friends. Even if in it applies to living in a bricks and sticks house, but it definitely applies to the nomad life, making friends and deciding if it's going to That's another great advantage of living in Tucson or being in Tucson. They have Davis Mountain Air Force Base, and although they can be noisy, it's fun to watch all the planes. That what the planes are doing right now, they're going over there and training. They train pilots from all over the world at Davis Mountain Air Force Base. So, but the podcast is about friends making friends and talking about. What to look for if you do think that you, this person might be a good candidate and it's a good match to even develop the friendship because not everybody is going to um, be a good candidate because they might not have the same interests as you. And, and what to look out for as you're developing a friendship, behaviors you're, that you need to look out for that you might want to drop that person. So wait for that podcast to come out on Friday and I love you guys so much. Until next time, love you.